heart of this framework is the establishment of a permanent multi-stakeholder committee charged with ensuring that a safe and conducive environment exists for the practice of responsible journalism in Ghana. There are four major things that the draft highlights, and it is our expectation that as we go through the deliberations today, we will contribute uh, to how we can make these four things come to life. Number one is that we need to do a lot of education for all stakeholders, the media, the security agencies, uh, the uh, lawmakers, the judiciary, civil society groups, all stakeholders need a lot of education on their various roles in ensuring a safe and responsible media environment in Ghana. In fact, deliberately, that's why we choose to sit some of the senior media practitioners, who will sit the security person so that they can <laughs> talk to one another with the National Media Commission sitting on the other side. But it is one of the first things that we need to do so that everybody knows their responsibility in this enterprise and begins to live up to that responsibility. Number two is that we need to have a proper framework that validates attacks and threats on journalists in Ghana. Currently, we don't have a proper framework that does so. A number of um, civil society organizations may elect so to do. Some duty bearers may elect so to do. And sometimes you find conflicting reports and conflicting accounts of what has exactly transpired. But we need to have a proper framework that validates the attacks and threats on journalists in Ghana so that uh, when indeed any such incident happens, we can nail it for what it is worth. Just this morning, I'm sure you heard the GJ president talk about 17 attacks. The other reports that say 31 attacks. The other reports that give some different numbers. Which periods are we looking at? It is important to have a framework for validation because if we don't, in this world of free media, as we keep speaking about it and putting out different numbers, the global marketplace takes these numbers and it ends up counting against us. So while we solve the problem, we also need to put in place a proper framework where all of us can validate this. Number three is that we need to introduce interventions to ensure the prevention of attacks, to protect journalists and to prosecute persons involved in attacks against journalists. We need to roll out a number of interventions, and these interventions must also have the input of various stakeholders. Sometimes it's frustrating when um, you get reports that the investigative agencies that are expected to get to the bottom of a particular matter have not gotten to the bottom of that matter. And then um, you know there's increasing apprehension on the other side as well. But all of us need to get around the table and introduce those interventions that ensure that A, we are preventing it. If a journalist, for example, is reporting of threats, etc., what are the first line mechanisms that we trigger to ensure that adequate protection is made or is given to that journalist? What are the mechanisms we put in place to ensure that even beyond the protection, where persons have been found culpable of attacks on journalists, we actually get to prosecution and punish such persons to prevent such acts from uh, uh, continuing, continuing and to prevent in, uh, impunity from continuing. So all of us gathered here today, I'm happy we we'll have an opportunity to make an input into these uh, kind of interventions we're talking about. Finally, we also think that there should be a one-stop shop that has the numbers that we can all rely on. Because if we don't, the global marketplace will pick on various snippets put out there, and as I mentioned, will count it against us. So we also want this mechanism to be able to give us annual reports, properly so-called, which they are validated on safety of journalists as a first step, and as a second step on the other part, on complaints against journalists. When you speak to many of the other stakeholders, a lot of them also complain that they have challenges with uh, what is going on in, and let me broaden the bracket a little bit, the media space, not just with journalists. Because today you find that in the broader media space, various other actors contribute to media products. And you find increasing challenges that people have uh, with it. We believe that 
as they put together some of these annual publications and these annual reports, they serve as feedback for future engagements, whether it's on training or on interventions, etc. And there are a number of things that have been outlined in this draft that are aimed at helping to achieve these four uh, pillars that we have put out there.